Welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover and talk about misconfigurations. And also, in this very video, we will cover the easiest possible vulnerability that you could ever find. You might have already noticed it while we scan Metasploitable, and if you didn't, I will give you a chance to find it right now. So what I did right here is I performed a version scan on the Metasploitable virtual machine. You can do the same, or you can just take a look at the results right here. And do you by any chance see something that sticks out right here? Something that shouldn't be here. Now, you should be able to figure it out based on what we learned for now. So, I will just give you a few seconds. And time has come. Have you managed to find it? It is this bind shell right here. And under the version it says Metasploitable root shell. I mean, just by its name we can see that something doesn't seem right. We know what bind shell is, right? So if this service doesn't have any type of authentication, we can just try to connect to this port that hosts this bind shell, in case port 1524 over TCP, and we will be given a root shell on that machine can't be that easy, right? Well, it is. And I wouldn't even consider this an exploit. This is just an example of what a misconfiguration could look like. Now, this would be a critical misconfiguration. That would almost never happen. But sometimes even stuff like this can happen. Maybe an administrator set up something like this so he can access that machine from his home or from somewhere else, but he forgot to put authentication on it. You never know. Okay, so how can we establish connection to this port? Well, we won't be using Metasploit Framework for this particular thing. Instead, we're going to use a tool called Netcat. And Netcat is a program that allows us to establish network connections with other machines using both TCP and UDP. To run the Netcat help menu, we can type nc-h, which stands for help. And here we can see menu isn't that big at all. It only has a few options right here. And at the beginning of the menu, we also got these two main options. We can either connect to somewhere, or we can listen for the inbound or incoming connections. Since our Metasploitable target machine has a bind shell, that means we must connect to somewhere. And the syntax is just nc, then the hostname or the IP address, and then the port. Let's try it out. If I go down here and type nc, and then the IP address on my Metasploitable, I go and check out over which port is the bind shell being hosted, it is over port 1524. And I will type space and then the port, or let me just clear the screen first, and type nc 192.168.1.5 and then space 1524 press enter, and it worked. We are again a root account on the Metasploitable machine. And as in the previous video, we can do anything we want. So if I type who am I, we can see we are the root account, ls tells us what directories we have, and remember the test directory from the previous video, here it is, ifconfig will give us the IP address of the Metasploitable machine, so everything works as in the previous video. We are root account and we can execute the commands on the target system. Now, don't get used to this type of exploitation. Matter of fact, I won't even consider this an exploitation because the vulnerability wasn't in software, but in a person who would set something like this up without ever authenticating. Stuff like this rarely happens, but I wanted to show you this just to see whether you will notice it in our scan. In the next video, we're going to check out another quick vulnerability that is based on information disclosure. After that, we're getting slowly into harder and harder exploits. See you in the next video.